It's been a busy day in the greenhouse this morning. Visitors, snow removal, sun coming in and out. I don't know if I'm hot or cold. The other day I received a message from someone who saw my video on propagating exhibition chrysanthemums and I had commented about having root pruned and up potted my stock plants and she wanted to know what that was all about. So what I'm going to do is use one of my seedling varieties that I'm testing this year to see and to show her what goes on with uh, root pruning. So what I like to do is once a year take the stock plants out of their containers and inspect the roots and see if anything is going on. So I could end up with root mealybugs, I could end up with slugs, who knows. Right now I seem to have a old piece of plastic that has disintegrated, some weeds, some moss, and this plant was last watered last week and it's still holding on to its moisture and it's because it's in a really cool part of the greenhouse. If I had it in a different spot it would be drying out already. So what I want to do is look at the roots, see what's going on, and then make some decisions. So right now all I'm seeing is a wet soggy mass here. I'm not seeing any great vibrant roots. I'm not seeing anything that would encourage you, but I know how these plants are and I know they they will respond to this. So you can follow the stock plant, see how the stolen ran around the perimeter of the pot. So what I can do is split that and then clean it up a little bit. And then what I'll do is I'll put this back into the same container with fresh planting medium. I like to use... Well, something's going on. Birds are freaking out. I like to use fresh rooting medium. Get rid of as much of the weeds as I can and then once it's potted up I'll put some slow release fertilizer on it I'm not looking for any vigorous growth on my seedlings the stock plants for sale that's another story my seedlings. I won't be taking cuttings until April or May and that'll give me plenty of time. So cleaned up the roots, goes into my planting mix which I always use pre-moistened mix and then back in the pot Work the soil around the roots. Give a little shake a shake a tap a tap a. Some of you will understand that reference. Settle the soil. I've got one little straggler over here. I'll pop him in. Then I like to apply. Super Thrive to clean my fingers 
and settle the soil. Sometimes the old shake a shake and tap a tap it isn't enough. I wonder if he copyrighted that. I should send him an email to find out. And then, because you cannot tell these things apart until they're in bloom, I will put my label back on it. This is a seedling from a cultivar that is spelled AOI, and I had about 10 different seedlings come off that plant, or nine, and I very smartly labeled, labeled them AOI number one, number two, number three. I know, very original. But this one, I can't remember if this has a purple flower or a red flower. I don't remember. I have to go look it up. So it's been root pruned, given fresh planting medium, it's labeled. We'll put a tablespoon of Osmocote on it. It's been super thrived. And the only thing I gotta watch out for now are slugs, aphids, uh, root mealybugs. So I'll have my New York State pesticide applicator buddy come in and he will treat the plants with whatever New York State Ag and Markets requires. So that's it. Clean them up. Add fresh soil. So this one doesn't look significantly different. Now what I can do is a shortcut. Slice off a chunk of the roots. Now what I think I'm going to do here is divide this, because, hey, I have three of these. Why not have four? I know, it's an obsession. Seriously, there's something wrong with chrysanthemum growers. We're all freaking crazy. All right, so throw out the weeds. Looks like a dead center of the original plant. Comb out the roots. Now, the other thing I've been experimenting with is placing Osmocote underneath the roots and on the surface of the soil. I heard someone say many years ago, if you put the Osmocote under the roots, the plants will go looking for it, and then they'll have nutrients. And while that implies a degree of intelligence that I don't think the plants possess, they do have the ability to sense where nutrients are and send their roots there accordingly. I saw that a lot last year when I put down the organic fertilizer. If I left it on the surface of the soil, I found all the roots had migrated. Well, not all the roots, but the roots had migrated and infiltrated that uh, organic fertilizer cake. Now I'm going to do something on this next one that I don't recommend. I'm going to try a different planting medium. Generally speaking, you don't want to use two different types of planting medium because the watering needs won't necessarily be satisfied with the two separate mixes having different moisture retention abilities. I don't know how different this Metro Mix 360 is to compared to uh, my mix, which is basically sand and peat. So, a little Osmocote in the bottom. Nestle them in. And 
then we've got the Shaka Shaka and the Tapa Tapa. And I have to do the Poka Poka. Throw some more Osmo Coat on top. Super Thrive it in. And replace my label. So. That's really it. You just take them out of the pot, make sure you keep the label with them, clean up the roots, refresh the soil, put them back down, and you're good for a year. So one more to go, and I'll get back to my other stuff. So go work on your chrysanthemums if you have them. If not, go work on something else. So. Have fun.